Hi all, welcome to the video. Uh, in this video, we will look at what is Tidyverse and what are the collection of different packages that are there in Tidyverse. And so, uh, if if you are an active R user, you would already know that there are tons of packages on CRAN. And uh, if you want to implement a certain fun functionality, there are multiple packages for even that. So how how do we standardize and how do we choose a given uh, given package to achieve achieve whatever we want to as far as coding in R is concerned? So in R there is a standard library and uh, this is a well established library which is known as Tidyverse and it has collection of a certain packages. If you are a Python user and if somebody asks you what exact libraries do you use to do your day to day task, somebody would naturally reply NumPy or Pandas. We use NumPy or Pandas because they are the libraries are well written, they are maintained properly, and they have uh, a decent history as far as you know updating and uh, loading of the packages are concerned. So in R, basically Tidyverse lends the same meaning, and uh, Tidyverse is something that is updated on a regular basis, and uh, it has been updated properly for uh, through the course of the last few years. So it lends some credibility and reliability to it. And as as far as the packages are concerned, you know there are some packages that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, and I will be discussing only those. So it is it is a total seven packages that are there in Tidyverse that I frequently use. And I have divided it based on the logical framework that they fit in. You know, if I'm doing a certain analysis, I would first want to input a data frame or input an Excel file or a CSV file. So I can do that using radar. Once I have the data in my console, that I then I would like to uh, basically do some data wrangling. I can do that using Deployer. I can. I would also want to let's say do pivoting and pivoting operation. I can do that using TIDR. If I want to do a certain vectorized heavy lift, I can do that using PUR. If I want to handle dates, I can do that using Lubri date. If I want to handle let's say text component, I can do that through the combination of string R and PUR. Finally, if I have some results, I can then visualize them using ggplot. There are also packages like tidy models which help you to run a certain linear model or let's say some, some other statistical or machine learning model. But, but most importantly, these are the packages that you normally use on a day-to-day -day basis. I hope this video was useful. If you like the video, do subscribe to my channel.